Okay, Fox, we've got some talking to do. I need to talk to you about these. Their sizing is <laughs> basically. Okay, welcome back to another video. My name's Lola. If you haven't subscribed already, I would very much appreciate it if you consider subscribing. Today's a bit of a different video. It's not gonna be like a riding vlog or anything. There's loads more of those to come. Um, but today, yeah, we're going to be talking about some new protection that I've bought now that I'm entering a little bit into the MTV world. So yeah, let's get on with the video. Okay, so if you have followed my channel for a while, you will know that I usually just race enduro, like on my FE250. I've been doing a lot of that over the past sort of 10 years or so, but recently I bought, well, me and Connor both bought mountain bikes. I'd really wanted to get over my fear of riding a mountain bike. So I ended up buying a GT Sensor Comp. I bought that back in July, I think it was, and I've been ripping on it since. I've been really enjoying it, so I wanted to get some more protection because the things I've been using at the moment just weren't really cutting it. So these are the Fox Launch Pro knee pads. Yeah, they're a bit bad now. I have had these for about 10 years, I think, so they've served me well. But I just felt like they're a bit too bulky. Like I wear these for Enduro, I've always worn these for Enduro, but I just felt like, yeah, they're just a bit too bulky. I wanted something that was a bit more streamlined and would just kind of suit mountain biking a little bit better. I think they still sell these if anyone is interested in getting something like this. I do know that some of the people on mountain bikes do wear ones like these, but they're just not really the kind of thing. I wanna keep these ones for the enduro basically. I don't wear knee braces or anything like that, I literally just wear knee pads, but these do the job. On to what I have actually bought. Here is what I've purchased. I ended up looking around online and I liked the look of these sleeve ones because I just thought they're a lot more streamlined. I mean, there's not as much protection like around the sides and stuff, but I just thought something like this would be a lot more comfy and I needed a bit of shin protection because I keep batter in my shins on the pedals and stuff so a little bit of shin protection I thought wouldn't be a bad idea. Knowing that sizing was funny on my old ones I did think I really need to find some kind of size chart for these. Luckily I managed to and at least I think it's for these anyway it's got the same name it's just on some random website so yeah I'll link that down below if anyone is interested in actually looking at what size they might need based on the size recommendations but I measured my legs and arms and it didn't come out right. So yeah, basically I'm doing this video because I didn't find any info about these. There wasn't any other YouTube videos around that I could find that were for these knee pads in particular. I know that Troy Lee and other brands do some other versions of these, but I just went with these because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I did, I just did. I picked these up first from Leisure Lakes Bikes online. They are a size large, these ones. These are the first ones I've bought. The trials and tribulations of trying to find some new pads that fit. And I'm not even a big girl, do you know what I mean? I don't see why I should struggle finding some knee pads to fit. But these ones, they come with like a foam insert. Pretty hard actually, I was expecting it to be quite soft, but it's actually quite hard and quite firm. Um, I know you can get the D3O ones as well of these, but you can also buy the inserts separately. And the D3O is basically where it's soft and malleable, like when you're moving it around, but on impact it hardens up and is really protective. I have the Fox Race Frame Body Protector that I recently picked up a couple of months ago, and the back of that is D3O, so it's really good for if you do, you know, crash or anything like that, nothing's gonna get through it because it somehow, like science, goes hard on impact. Yeah, I picked up these in a large from Leisure Lakes Bikes, they were 39.99. I think they're on sale at the moment. I'm not sure for how long, but they're 65 quid. Originally, I'll show you what these look like on. And yeah, think of sausages in sausage skins. So they're on. I don't know if you can see the sausage skinning, I don't know, I look like a piece of beef, but yeah, these are, they feel so tight, even like bending. Obviously I had already tried these on before ordering the extra large, but I'm just doing this so you can 
see what they look like. I think like you could get away with it if you really wanted to, but you may as well just get something that fits you better, haven't you? They're just they're just not comfy at the end of the day. Okay, so now you've seen the large ones on. These are the XL, and I got these from Gear Four Motorcycles. I actually got my Husqvarna from there, and they were actually cheaper from there as well. So these ones were thirty two forty nine. With shipping, I think it was about 35 quid. Obviously you saw with the last pair that the bit around the top, the silicon bit, Jesus Christ. I tried wearing it a bit lower down just to see and it's just not, it's not, it's not gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen. And I know it needs to be to stop them slipping down, but that is so tight. The XL, it fits a bit better, definitely a lot better than the large, but still not perfect. So I think I'm gonna persevere with these and just see how I get on with them and just see really like whether they stretch out or not because the old ones they definitely have like they're a lot more easy to slip on and off than they used to be so I'm hoping that the same happens with these. Another thing I was feeling as well as around the back here it was bunching up quite a bit. Okay so I think I'll wear them for a couple of weeks see how we get on but yeah I think I think they should stretch a little bit over time and yeah should be the knee pads of dreams hopefully. And Last but not least, on the protection front, I actually picked up the matching elbow pads too. So these are the Enduro Pro elbow sleeves. These are a sleeve-like thing as well, but they are quite good because they they seem like they're quite long. So I'm hoping that they, they're good under a t-shirt and stuff like that, and anything really. So I'm hoping these are obviously quite low profile too, but I'm hoping that these fit better, which they should do really. I measured these ones as well off the chart that I've linked down below. So let's go ahead and try these ones on. First of all, shout out to Moto 101 um, for the sick t-shirt. If you want to get one, I'll link them down below. Check them out. Yeah, let's see how these fit. I reckon if you've got knobbly elbows, these probably aren't going to be the comfiest, but should be all right for most. But they're they actually fit, but I think that's because my arms are like toothpicks. I went for a medium in the arms after measuring. Um, and these ones are actually right, so the fox went right somewhere. In some ways I probably could have maybe gone size small, I don't know. It's, it's more the, this bit, it's a bit flowery. <laughs> yeah, but these ones fit well, so under a t-shirt. I like those. Those are good. Chicken wing. I'm not doing none of that on a mountain bike. Yeah, those are good. All good. Also, as a little bonus, I did pick up some mountain bike trousers. Um, I'm very new to this, so I didn't really know 100% what I was looking for, but I managed to find these Alpine Star mountain bike trousers. I think they're pretty jazzy, you know? And guess what? These were 67 pounds. So I know that's a bit of a bargain. Um, I think the RRP on these is 135 pounds or something like that. So I feel pretty good that I managed to get these for 67 quid. But yeah, I'll just show you these on as well. So then you can get an idea of what these kind of fit like, especially on a women's body um because they are men's you know because there's not that much choice for women but what i have found with women's stuff in the past is that it is all more petite and not all women are petite you know there are some women out there that are bigger than men <laughs> um i definitely know my bottom half is a lot not a lot bigger but it is bigger than connor's bottom half you know i've got a bottom and thighs god you can <laughs> Me! Oh no. <laughs> Is that gonna be a problem? <sighs> Fuck's sake. Look at that, that's so bad. Mate, that's embarrassing. My leg my legs ain't even big. Nothing fits me. Bike brands, sort it out. <laughs> sort it out. We need more room in the thigh department, please and thank you. I'm keeping them anyway. 
that is what I wanted to talk about in this video. I find it mad that obviously, you know, I'm only a size 10. I'm not even, you know, I'm not plus size and there's no problem if you are. I just think that even if I'm a size 10 and I have to buy extra large, which is the biggest size they do, by the way, extra large knee pads and stuff like that to fit my legs. Like how is somebody who's even a 12 going to fit in anything like that? But yeah, I just feel bad for anybody that's trying to get into this, that obviously wants to get protection because anybody who is new to this kind of thing would surely buy protection from the get-go and if they're going to struggle to find some that fits then they've already hit a problem haven't they already so I know that these things need to be tight and they're meant to be like you know compression based but there was a bit too much compression going on there so I think maybe brands and stuff, I mean like I say I haven't tried out any other brands so let me know down below if there is any other brands that you think fit better or have a wider range of fit as for gloves and other kit and stuff, I don't really have a problem like men's stuff fits fine. Stuff is usually always a bit tighter around the arse and thigh area, but I think that's just the way it goes. Fox, I think you need to do something with the sizing of these because it's really not great. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe if you like what you see. I would really appreciate your comments down below of anything you want me to try out. If there is anything that people think is more comfy, I would definitely, definitely want to try it. But yeah, I hope this helps anybody out that is thinking about getting these knee pads. These probably do limit quite a lot of people. They probably won't be buying these if they are the same size as me or bigger than me. So yeah. Like I say, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Hello. Bertie, look. Look. Bertie, oh, I just hit you. <laughs>